So what do you do when your husband brings home a lot of fresh zucchini? I make zucchini, apple and coconut bread out of it. This makes a wonderfully moist sweet bread that everyone in the family is going to enjoy. And I'm going to share my recipe with you today. So let's get started. So first of all preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius and now take a loaf pan. I've taken here 9 by 5 inch loaf pan and first I'm going to spray it with a non-stick spray just to grease it so that our bread comes out neatly and then I'm going to line this with parchment paper. So just put this at the bottom of the pan. and we are done let's keep this aside and next i'm going to toast my nuts so i'm going to spread the walnuts on this tray and i'm going to keep this in the oven for about 7 to 8 minutes at 180 degrees celsius and after that i will chop these once they are cool down so that i can use them in my bread And now just take your zucchini. You can see the size I'm using. I have washed it and now I will be cutting the sides. Like this. Right. And I will grate this along with the skin because I want the green peel in my bread and I'm using this uh, largest side of my box grater to grate this. So here is my grated zucchini see i have used the peel also while grating and we also need grated apple you can take any kind of apple for this now let's start with our dry ingredients this is my all purpose flour you can also use whole wheat flour and into this i'm going to add baking soda baking powder some salt i'm using kosher salt here and some cinnamon powder so just going to whisk this so that everything is mixed together now to make this more healthy you can use or whole wheat flour also but i would suggest you if you want it uh, the healthier version of it try to use half of the wheat flour and half of the all purpose flour so this has been done so i'm going to keep this aside and i'll move towards my wet ingredients so here goes in another bowl two eggs and then sugar vanilla extract vegetable oil I'm using canola here. You can use any flavorless oil that you like. And now I'm going to beat this until everything is mixed together. You can also use your wire whisk, but if you have your stand mixer or your hand mixer, you can definitely use that. So it's been done. I beat this for about a minute or so and now I'm going to add my freshly grated zucchini into this along with the grated apples. You know zucchini doesn't have any any kind of flavor. So that is the reason it doesn't change the taste of the bread, but yes, it makes it quite moist. So here goes the apples. So both of these together are going to make the bread very moist and soft. So let's give it a mix again. Just a gentle mix so that everything is mixed together properly. If you are new to my channel, welcome and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for many more such easy and yummy dessert recipes. And also do not forget to press that little bell icon so that you get notifications every time i post a new video 
again do not forget to scrape the sides because it is a very important part of your baking these uh, silicone spatulas or rubber spatulas are a real blessing you know for scraping the side of the bowls and now is the time to add our dry ingredients so i'm going to fold in the flour along with the toasted nuts and the coconut the grated coconut so i'm using unsweetened coconut here and then i'm going to mix it so first i'm mixing it without starting my hand mixer so that all the flour doesn't come up on my face now do not over mix it just mix it when everything is combined there are no um, flour pockets visible and do not forget to scrape the sides with your silicone or rubber spatula so one last mix and we are done so let me take off these attachments just give them a quick shake because we don't want to waste anything and one last mix with my rubber spatula my silicon spatula and now i am going to transfer the batter into the prepared pan just give a few taps on the kitchen counter and now i'm going to bake this until the bread has risen and a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean so this is going to take about 60 to 65 minutes but i would suggest you to keep an eye after 50 or 55 minutes so this is our zucchini bread ready see it has started leaving the sides so the toothpick inserted in the center has come out clean but i'm going to keep this on the wire rack for about 7 8 minutes and then i'll come back and demold it so our zucchini bread has been cooled down and now i'm just going to take this out so loosening the side with the help of my offset spatula you can also use a knife and here it goes yes remove the butter paper and now i'm going to invert it in the serving dish so here is my zucchini bread isn't it looking gorgeous look at the beautiful brown color it has and uh, So I'm just going to slice it and show you how it looks from inside. This bread uh, if it is well kept in an airtight container it can last for weeks and you can even freeze this bread, you know. So let me just show you the slice. See. You can see the nuts, you can see the green color of that zucchini peel and it is soft and crunchy. both at the same time soft because of that zucchini and apple and crunchy because of that coconut and the walnuts the toasted walnuts that we have used in it see it looks beautiful and believe me this tastes awesome this is one of the favorite breads in my household and i'm getting demands to make it very often so do try this recipe it's a perfect bake for a winter evening coffee or tea and i know you are going to love it so make it for your family your friends you can also gift it during the christmas season and i also hope that if you make it you will share the pictures with me on my instagram handle dipali khanna ori i'll be waiting for it so thank you so much for watching this video until we meet again goodbye and take good care of yourself happy baking